Superpowers. Superpowers, huh? If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Ooh, I definitely have the power to be invisible, so I could sneak into girls' bathrooms and... <clears throat> We've all, you know, at some point in our lives, haven't we? <clears throat> Anyway, well, I mean, all three of us could probably admit that we've wanted a superpower. When you think of superpower, you think of Superman, right? I got so desperate when I was a little kid that I convinced my classmates that I possessed the ability to levitate birds. As in... birds, Ali. What does Superman have that I would really like to have? You know, I've always wondered why the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles wore masks. It's not like they're trying to hide their identity. They're mutant ninja turtles. Spider-Man was always my favourite, uh, my favourite superhero. I wasn't impressed by Peter Parker's ability to, like, buy a web. Oh yeah, there's the general, you know, the man of steel, strong, you could fly. I think it was the ability to walk around all day in that Spider-Man costume, because you know he rips it off at random intervals. You know, just, how does he cope with the chafing? I was thinking about what my weakness would be if I was a superpower, and I was looking at other people's weaknesses. But the one thing I'd really like to have is whatever that thing is, that when he puts glasses on, suddenly people don't know him? Bill, you're right. Now, I've also noticed that he's partial to the odd hat. I think the hat really adds to the disguise. James Bond's weakness is alcohol and ladies. I mean, that's just cheating as a weakness. Basically, his weakness is that he's a guy. Think about the places that you would be that may be uncomfortable situations or something. To defeat Clark Kent, you have to find a super rare element and then wave it in front of his face. I'll never want to see you again if, if we... Ooh, who are you? To defeat James Bond, you just have to hire a stripper to dance in front of him. Maybe holding a can of beer. <clears throat> Either this is the best trick ever, or Superman worked with idiots. I think I have furthered my point there. It was actually me all along. So his hat would never do that in the vortex of a jet stream. If I actually did get a superpower, it would probably end up being one of those annoying superpowers that only comes in useful in one situation. You know, like the ability to slightly glow in the dark, or to change into a ferret when I got really, really angry. I think that is probably the most impressive thing. Being double parked! Did you park your car? Is that your car? Oh, good morning! I would save so much money on public transportation if I could teleport. Damn. Yes. You can take your superpower. Oh, I'm sorry, you probably didn't recognize me. Where will you find Spider-Man's homepage? The World Wide Web.